Hi, I'm Gino. And I'm Ram, and this is NTV for Wednesday, September 6th. In this episode, we will interview two new teachers on this campus. But first, these are the announcements. The no-go list is in full effect. That means if you're late more than five times in a week, get suspended, have two or more referrals, or have below a 2.0 GPA, you'll be added to this list. This also applies to athletes, so be aware. If you do get added to the no-go list, you won't be able to attend any sporting events, dances, or any other school activity. To clear tardies, you need to attend detention with Ms. Alcala in room K209 after school from 3.40 to 4.30 p.m. Each detention clears five tardies. Attention all actors and actresses. The Drama Club will be holding auditions for their fall production next week. If you're interested or have questions, head down to the theater after school today at 3.30 or on Friday to attend an actor's workshop and look into the process. So we are now taking deposits for the senior trip. You can place your $50 deposit at the student store during lunch. Please remember, you can make payments through March on the senior trip. Please have your deposit in by October 6th. This will help us determine the amount of tickets and seniors we will take. Our goal is to have 200 seniors to go on this trip this year, so save your spot soon. Football is finally back home this Friday, September 8th. JV starts at 5 p.m. and varsity starts at 7. Volleyball has a home game on Thursday also. JV at 5 and varsity at 6. A meeting for women's basketball will be held on Monday, September 11th after school at 3.45 p.m. in room A147 near the counselor's offices. Cheerleading practices are on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays from 4.45 to 6 p.m. Swimming practices are Monday and Wednesday from 3.45 to 5.30 p.m. Please remember to purchase your game tickets for all sports before coming to the event to save time. We do not take cash at the door. All tickets are purchased through GoFan. Click on the QR code or visit the website to buy tickets. You can purchase single game and season passes. Natomas High will be hosting this year's district college fair on Wednesday, September 20th, starting at 5.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. We will start the night with workshops, how to select the right college and how to pay for college. All grades are welcome. You can register here. And now for our main story. Ms. Guerra and Mr. McKenzie are new teachers this year. We want to get to know them better, so we sent Amar to find out more. So, who am I here with today? Ms. G. Ms. G, uh, what class do you teach? ERWC and AP Lit. All right, so first question I have for you today is, how does it feel being a former student and coming back as a teacher? Feels pretty awesome. I feel like I can connect to the students um, in a deeper way, and I, it's just nice to be back and see that some things just don't change. And. Uh, do you think the school has changed in uh, ever since from ever since you've been here, like as a student? Yeah. Um, well, first off, like the office is crazy insane now. Like they totally revamped it. But also, I feel like the teachers have a little bit more pep in their step. I think it has something to do with the admin that we have here. But yeah, it's exciting to see really good changes happening to the school. All right. And last question: Do you enjoy teaching your students? I love every single one of my students. They're awesome. All right. Thank you. All right. So who am I here with today? Uh, Mr. McKenzie. And what class do you teach, Mr. McKenzie? Um, the math one and math two teacher. All right. So first question I have for you is, how is it like to be teaching at a new school? Um, it's been great. Um, the Thomas High has been a good Good energy, good transition for me. Um, I've been teaching for the last six years um, from New York. So I taught there and then I uh, spent the last year um, subbing. So it's been good to have, have um, an atonement as a staple. That's nice. And uh, you say you're from New York. What part of New York are you from? Brooklyn, born and raised. 
Okay, so what made you want to move to Sacramento? Um, family, family. It's really family oriented here. Uh, my wife is from here, uh, so I mean, it was a good look to bring my family here. So, do you like Sacramento? Yeah, definitely. Um, huge basketball fan, so the Kings are are doing well right now. So it's been a good, good. It's been a good energy. What about the Brooklyn Nets? You like the Brooklyn Nets? Yeah, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of the Nets. Um, you know, they got a lot of good things. They've had a lot of good things going on over the last few years. But, you know, it's kind of hard to win a championship in the NBA. So it's been just fun to watch good basketball. And uh, last question, do the freshmen be giving you a hard time? Um, not yet. You know, it's just week two. So they're still getting acclimated. I'm still getting acclimated. So we're pushing the hard line to make sure that we don't have to have any issues, making sure the phones are away, making sure they're able to focus. Um, you know, and if they do lose a little bit of focus, I'm able to bring them back. But not yet. Nothing crazy. All right. Thank you. All right. Thanks. And that's it for our NTV. As always, it's a great day to be a Nighthawk. Ah.